Good morning, and welcome to Gilchrist Center Baltimore's fifth annual Spring Jazz Brunch. On behalf of the entire team, we'd like to thank you for being with us this morning. We couldn't do what we do without your help, and we're very grateful for your role in supporting our patients and families. All proceeds from today's event benefit our services at Gilchrist Center Baltimore, the city's only residential inpatient hospice center. Thank you for your generosity. We hope you enjoy the show. It's now our pleasure to introduce event co-chairs Kathy McClelland and Neil Freelander. Hello, though I wish we were together in person, I'm so happy that you've joined us virtually to celebrate the wonderful work of Gilchrist Center Baltimore. As I stand at the downtown center today at Utah Street, I'm struck by the legacy of care that began here over 30 years ago. Known formally as the Joseph Ritchie House, this center was the first of its kind in Maryland to care for terminally ill adults. And right next door was the first inpatient hospice center in the entire country dedicated to terminally ill children, lovingly known as Dr. Bob's Place. Today, these tireless efforts continue through the dedication and compassion of Gilchrist Center Baltimore and Gilchrist Kids Hospice Teams. We're so excited to celebrate Gilchrist Center Baltimore with you this morning. Before we get our main feature, we'd like to share a special performance by Orchids, a Baltimore Symphony music program for city youth. Please join me in welcoming these talented young musicians. keeps us apart today, I look forward to when we can all raise our glasses in person to toast the past, present, and exciting future of Gilchrist Center Baltimore. Many thanks to our generous sponsors and to the Jazz Brunch Committee for making today possible. Now, here's my event co-chair, Dr. Neil Freelander, to kick off today's festivities. Thanks, Kathy. When we started the Jazz Brunch five years ago, it was an opportunity to raise funds so that no Gilchrist Center Baltimore patient would ever be turned away, regardless of their ability to pay. I'm very proud to say that we've accomplished that mission year after year, and today is no exception. So throughout this morning's event, 
please consider making a generous contribution. The past year for all of us has been one unlike any other, but at Gilcrest Center Baltimore, something wonderful occurred. We broke ground on a brand new center on East 33rd Street at the former home of Memorial Stadium. Later, during today's event, you'll hear and see a special preview of the new building that I know you won't want to miss. But now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce a truly remarkable musician and a member of our very own Baltimore community who ironically shares the same name as ours, but has an unbelievable talent all his own, Lafayette Gilchrist. His music draws on the span of jazz history from stride to free improvisation along with inspiration from hip hop, funk, and Washington DC's unique go-go sound. His compositions have been featured on the soundtracks of David Simon's acclaimed series, The Wire, and he has performed with Cassandra Wilson, Macy Gray, Hammett Drake, William Parker, and many more. His 2019 Dark Matter and 2020 Now recordings landed him on numerous critics' best of the year lists. Please welcome Lafayette Gilchrist. I came to Baltimore to go to college, and that's really where the music started. I had heard jazz before, but the only jazz that I had heard was in the context of DC Gogo. And I remember a friend of mine came across this cassette tape, Thelonious Monk. And then halfway through the first side, after the second listening, I was hooked. And so while I didn't have formal lessons, it doesn't mean I didn't have instruction and training. I had plenty of that. Because, because that was given freely in the community. If you showed up and you wanted to learn, then the guys would help you out. These were people that were very patient with me, took me in and, and made me a musician. Baltimore people shaped me. Baltimore people embraced me and saw something in me. This town gave me everything. Baltimore will always be home.
Good morning. I'm Kathy Hamill and I'm honored to serve as the president of Gilcrest. Thank you so much for being with us today. We're so grateful for your support and thrilled that Lafayette Gilcrest could be our special guest today. The music will continue in just a moment. I'm joining you today with great excitement from our future home, located at the former site of Memorial Stadium, right at center field on East 33rd Street. When construction is completed this fall, we'll welcome terminally ill adults and children, along with their families, to this beautiful, serene city space, helping them to cherish every moment of life together. The 30,000 square foot center will feature 22 private patient rooms, a relaxing meditation courtyard, family lounges, all with sweeping views of our wonderful city skyline, straight down to the Inner Harbor. We couldn't be prouder of our next chapter, but our past is just as important. When Gilcrest merged with the Joseph Ritchie House and Dr. Bob's place on Utah Street in 2014, we made a commitment to continue to care for adults and children throughout Baltimore City and the state of Maryland who needed us the most. Today, many of our patients come from underserved communities across Baltimore. Many are homeless or have no one at home to care for them. Others need pain and other symptom management during their final days. Our Gilchrist Center Baltimore team provides compassionate end of life care to everyone, regardless of their ability to pay. That's why events like today's are so important. The monies raised this morning help to provide over a million dollars of charity care at our center every year. When we move to our new home at Stadium Place, we will leave behind a legacy of care at Utah Street that will continue through a partnership with Shepherd Pratt's Outpatient Division Mosaic. Our former buildings will provide adult mental health services in a group home setting, and we're in serious discussions to convert our second building to much needed emergency mental health crisis beds for city residents in need. I so look forward to cutting the ribbon here this fall and celebrating our next important milestone in Gilchrist history. Thank you again for being with us today and for supporting Gilchrist Center Baltimore. Now on with the show.
Thank you.